welcome to my Was It Worth It update for the Makeup Revolution calendar. And, uh, no. As evidenced by the fact that I am getting rid of all but four of the items in the calendar. And I'm going to explain to you why. Now, I have mislaid two of the items. One of which is the bronzer. The bronzer was never going to be my thing. I think... I know I had it somewhere. It is actually probably the perfect colour for my skin tone. It is slightly cool leaning and it's not too deep, but I'm not into bronzers. I just don't do bronzers. And actually I've thought of keeping it for a little while because it is pretty much the perfect colour for me. But for some reason I cannot find it for the life of me. And as I said, I don't do bronzers. So... Yeah, that's why I got rid of that one. For you that may be a completely different story. Um, this, was it worth it, is very personal to me because I am very light and uh, most of the reasons why these colours are going over, they don't work for me. So if you are not very fair, and I'm talking the very fair end of the spectrum, you might find that you will be, would have been able to use these colours no problems. But for me, this calendar was basically a waste of money, unfortunately. The products themselves, there's nothing wrong with most of these products, it's just that they don't work for me. Right, the other thing that I lost was the uh, angled brush. It's quite a good little angled brush, so I have no idea where it's gone. I would have used it for my eyebrows if I knew what I'd done with it. It's short handled as well, and that's just absolutely perfect for me, because I have, I'm quite short sighted. So, uh, yeah. I'll move on to the rest of the brushes and tell you why I'm getting rid of them. So this is the eyeshadow brush. It's very, very small. Very, very small. In fact, the only thing I find it incredibly useful for is putting on a little bit of um, highlighter in this corner or a, a shiny shadow just to brighten up the inner corner. It's not really very good, I find, for eyeshadow and that's what it's intended for. And I have a hundred brushes that do the little bit in the corner already. And that gets lost as well. This is just too small. It's great for contouring and things like that, but I don't really contour. It's just too small for me to put in my bag, which is what I would use it for to powder my face, because it is so small, I'd have to do so many strokes to put the powder on my face. It's too much effort. It's too small. This is the concealer brush. I, I don't find it useful. I've got other brushes and I prefer the way they work under my eyes with that. I don't find it useful for any spot concealing or anything like that. So that's going. I'm getting rid of all the lipsticks. So there are six lipsticks and it's all these colours here now. It'll be no surprise to anyone that the neutral lipsticks are going because I'm not into neutral lipsticks. I'm getting rid of the berry and the red. The red is just the wrong shade of red for me. It's a little bit too orange. I prefer the cooler reds. This one I'm getting rid of because of the formula. Now, the same could be said of the puff formula because of those. I also find it's not very opaque. I prefer opaque lipsticks. These are matte formula lipsticks. Because of the matte formula, I find they're not as pigmented as they could be. I find myself doing this all the time. And I can't get a smooth edge with them because they are matte, they are drier and I just, I just don't like the feel of them on my lip. They feel oily but matte and dry. It's weird. <laughs> and then I'm also getting rid of these two which look very similar. One is more of an orange undertone and one is a pink. The pink washes me out no end. Oh my god, it looks dreadful on me. And this one, again, is the pigmentation problem, and I just don't want to put the efforts into it. The lip glosses are going. I'm not a lip gloss fan. I don't want to waste my time using them up. This is the anti-shine balm. I hate this stuff. I believe I've already told you that. I thought I'd give it another go, and the texture that this one is was very different to the texture that was the one that was in my empties bag. I believe that one had dried out quite a lot compared to this one. This one was much, much smoother, but it was horrible. And actually, it's an anti-shine balm. It made my skin worse, and it broke down my makeup. I actually did a test of this 
over one day because I was realising that my makeup was just coming off before I'd even got halfway through my workday. So I put this on one half and my normal primer on the other half and this half went oily really fast and actually all my makeup was coming off because my skin went, oh my god that's so dry and <sighs> loads of oil, loads of oil just completely ruined my makeup and yeah I hate this stuff. I mean I hated it when I used it in that other one. I just got, and when I saw the difference between this side and this side, I was like, I am not using that up. I am not using that up at all. I hate that anti-shine balm. It may be the wrong thing to use if you've got oily skin because it does make your skin overproduce oil. Or it at least made mine overproduce oil. I am getting rid of the two strobe balms. I am not a huge fan of cream products strobe products uh, if i use foundation it tends to be high coverage so you can't see them if i put it under powder foundation it works fine the reason i'm getting rid of the rose gold one is it leaves too much color on my face it is too deep for my skin tone and this is why i mean that the it was the wrong calendar for me it was definitely not end, aimed at that pale end of the spectrum this calendar too deep way too deep well it's not way too deep but you could definitely i had a deeper stripe here no <laughs> this one is pretty much like okay and light enough but it's golden golden doesn't suit my undertones i look like commander data so that can go <laughs> i've got the ice kiss which is this lovely light color but again golden undertone did not suit me did not suit me at all I've then got three more highlighters. This one is the Peach Kiss. It is a beautiful highlighter. Could almost get away with it as a blush topper, but a blush topper is a thing that was invented for non-pigmented blushes or highlighters that were a bit too dark. This is a highlighter that is a bit too dark for me. And I, honestly, another layer on my face. No, thank you. And then we've got the two deep highlighters that I thought I might be able to get away with as blushes or shiny bronzers no they just did not look good on my skin way too deep for me most of the products when it came to the highlighter stuff was just too deep for my skin range there were like i said there were a couple that were okay for my skin range but my skin color but they were golden and last but not least as i said i'm not really fond of cream products i'm, I'm not a fan of this either again if i was using a foundation a normal found cream foundation it just covered it up it didn't work with it and if i was using a powder foundation it just wasn't my thing i really didn't like it this is slightly golden as well no not worth the hassle really not worth the hassle so the four items i kept was the mirror because that's true <laughs> and it's a nice little mirror to have in your handbag as well i get one highlighter from it uh this is the flash one i already have this this is definitely for me i have olive undertones and this is green and it works so well with my skin i love this i've got two i've got one that i was using here i got one at halloween which is currently as a backup and I've now got this one as well to stick in my bag. I don't need to stick it in my bag. So it's sticking. It's actually going back in the drawer. But yeah, I'm keeping that because that is beautiful. I am keeping the eye primer, which annoyingly until yesterday had a little gap in it. You could see I've been using it. It's not the perfect eye primer, but it certainly does the job. Only seems to last on my, I have very oily eyelids. So if you don't have very oily eyelids, this will probably work absolutely perfectly for you but I'm the kind of girl that needs the Too Faced primer. I used to need the Urban Decay primer until they changed the formula, well done Urban Decay, but uh, yeah this is one of those primers that you put it on and it helps you blend out your shadow, it'll help you make it stay bright but the problem is it didn't stop it from shifting so about oh, six hours later it was starting to shift so for a night out yeah, no problem, you're not going to be out for six hours unless you're um, doing the walk of shame afterwards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if this is 
If you're just going out for an evening and you've got oily eyelids, this will do the job, no problem. If you're looking for it lasting a whole day and you've got oily eyelids, no. But it works, it does the job, I'm keeping it. Not perfectly, but it works. And obviously the other thing that I'm keeping is the palette. And uh, I'm still working on this. I know I've said it many times, I am not a neutral person. But I'm really enjoying using this palette. I really am. I'm quite surprised. I am practicing my neutral eye looks. It's not a bad palette at all. It's really quite nice. None of the colours have pigmentation issues, which is really nice. And they're all buildable as well, which is even better because it was, you know, the main thing in that calendar. So final thoughts on the Makeup Revolution calendar. I see where they went with the inclusiveness of the calendar but unfortunately for me that means it's a big no because i am very light i'm sorry so for me that was not money well spent for someone who is medium to deep skin tone you're probably going to find a lot of these products are great probably would all of these would have worked much better on you than me the other reason why it's a big no is I'm not a fan of the matte lipstick formula. I think your the lipsticks are one of the weakest products in the Makeup Revolution line. They really are one of the weakest products in the Makeup Revolution line. And there's six of them in this calendar. There should have been more of a spread of products. It would have been nice to see eyeliners in it. It would have been nice to see mascaras in it. There were no blushes in it this year. It was all, all highlighters. And as a result, it just... It, for me, it was just flat out no good. I have saved four items. That is 20 items that I am getting rid of. The brushes are nice, but they're tiny and they're travel sized. They, they, they Again, the brushes really weren't for me. I found them too small. They, yeah. Overall this year, this calendar was a bit of a disappointment. It was not for me. I'm going to have to carefully think about buying it next year. If it's got a bunch of lipsticks in again, I'll probably pass. I'll have to look and see how many highlighters are in it again and have a think about the colours. If it's got the anti shine balm in it again this year, because it had it the year before, it's probably going to end up being a hard pass because that anti shine balm reacted really badly with my skin. Didn't cause me breakouts, but oh my god, did it make my oil production go mad and broke down my makeup. No. Sorry. Sorry, Makeup Revolution. You're still my favourite brand. You still do some of my favourite stuff. The palette was fantastic. The mirror is going to go in my bag and I love it. <laughs> Flash is my favourite highlighter ever. I love you for that. <laughs> the um, primer... Yep, cool, okay, it's not the best prim primer formula on the market. It doesn't work on so well on oily eyelids, but it, it's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this calendar, I'm sorry, was a big no-no. No, sorry. Yeah, what else can I say? I didn't really like the contents. I enjoyed opening the calendar. The palette is awesome, but no. And I don't know how many times I've just said the palette was awesome or this was awesome, but the calendar is a no, so I'm going to stop saying no. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know what to do. TTFN.